Are you guys losing against annoying Lost players that just breakdance all over the screen, not letting you play the game? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to demolish every Lars player you meet online. To do that, let's talk about three golden rules against Lars. The number one rule against Lars is to not let him get away with fake mix. Most online Lars players just throw out random strings into stance and hope for the best. But as you can see, a down forward one will check everything they do. Down forward one, down forward one, down forward one. This is true for every single string he can do, except for two moves. And those moves are Dynamic Entry 3 and Wild Crouching 3. These moves are so plus on block that you need to respect them. So if I try to jab, I get hit. If I try to jab here, I also get hit. So every single string he has in this game is just fake on block except for Dynamic Entry 3 and Wild Crouching 3. On the other hand, if you get hit by Lars from his strings, then all of his stance mix-ups will be true. So if I get hit and try to disrespect this, I get punished. Disrespect, I get punished. Disrespect, I get punished. You get the idea. This is true for every single string except for three, which are 1 4, down back 1 3, and dynamic entry 4. They're all lows. And with these, if you get hit, you can still interrupt them. So let me show you. If I get hit, I can interrupt them. If I get hit, interrupt. If I get hit, I can also interrupt. Before we go to the next rule, let me talk about his stances. The three stances are. Dynamic Entry, Silent Entry, and Limited Entry. Dynamic is whenever he shifts forward. And then, when he's on the ground, that's Silent. And if he does this little spin, he's in Limited Entry. So, Dynamic Entry, the best move that Lars has is Dynamic 3. This move is homing, it's a mid, a heat engager, and it's plus 3 on block. So this move is really crazy. Once he goes into this move, he has a 50-50 mix-up out of Silent, which is Silent 2, the low and the silent one which is a heat engager mid and whenever he goes into limited entry he has also another 50 50. he has limited one which is a low and the limited two which is a mid the second golden rule against lars is to punish his lows the lows i'm talking about are his down one plus two his down back four while running three plus four and his health sweep you are super punishable minus 26 minus 16 minus 31 minus 26 so with these lows, you always need to punish them. One thing to keep note of is some of Lars' lows have insane plus frames on hit, and he can do some pretty nasty frame trap setups. So the lows I'm talking about are his down back 4 into frame trap, also his silent entry 2 into frame trap. So with these lows, you need to respect them on hit. The final rule against Lars is to respect him in heat. As we discussed earlier, he has his limited stance, which has the low follow-up, that deals around 20 damage and the mid follow-up also 20 damage now if he goes into heat all that changes if he does his limited stance one it side switches and deals 40 damage and if he does two it screws on hit and he can get a full combo so as you can see both of these moves get insanely buffed while lars is in heat he has access to a new move called rebellion which is forward three plus four this move is plus 5 to 10 on block, depending on spacing, so if I'm closer it'll be plus 5. It has super armor, and it puts him into silent entry. So whenever he does this, you need to eat the mix-up. Is he going to go for the low, or is he going to go for the mid? Another reason to be scared of his heat is his heat smash. His heat smash is plus 9 on block, and it can be frame trapped with his dynamic entry 3. So right here, if I try to mash, I'll just get hit. And if I try to block... His dynamic entry 3 is plus on block, so I need to eat the mix. As you can see, he has plus frames into plus frames into plus frames, which is pretty crazy. Let's talk about how to beat his silent entry mix-ups. What they usually use is his silent 2, which is his low, and silent 1, which is a heat engager safe on block mid. To deal with both options, we can just fuzzy block, and my tip is to do a really delayed last frame fuzzy block. So let's try a really delayed fuzzy block. Really delayed fuzzy block, really delayed fuzzy block, really delayed fuzzy block. You get the idea. To beat Lars's grab game, you can just tech with 1 plus 2. So this is his wild running 2 plus 4, and this is his up forward 1 plus 2. To beat both of them, just tech with 1 plus 2. Lars has this pretty gimmicky move, which is up 3 plus 4. If he does 1 plus 2, then he gets this grab. If he does 4, he gets this mid kick. 
let's see how we can deal with both options. For the grab, you can just tech. If you press 1 plus 2, you get the tech. And then, for the kick, you can just launch it. The moment you see him jump up, launch it, and you get a full combo. Finally, let's talk about his punishable moves. His 1-1-1 one, one, one is minus 12 on block, and his forward 1 plus 2 is minus 13. So right here, this is minus 12, and this is minus 13. The other two moves I want to talk about is his up forward 3 and his forward back to 1. Both of these are launch punishable. So this is launch punishable, and the other one, which is forward to 1, is also launch punishable. Lars's orbital is minus 8 on block, so it's basically safe. And if you try ducking, you get launched. To beat this move, we can either sidestep right, or sidestep left, or we can punish this move, or like whiff punish this move, I'm sorry. So if we get away, we can get an easy whiff punish because of its ending right. To recap everything, the number one rule against Lars is to never let him get away with his fake mix-ups. If he does anything on block, it will be all fake except for the moves in the notepad, and if he hits you, then it's all true except for the moves in the notepad. When he does his lows, launch punish. If he is in heat, respect him. Let him use his meter, waste it, and get your turn. If he ever grabs you, do your 1 plus 2 tech. Thank you guys so much for the recent support. I've opened up my Patreon at Patreon slash Syndox if you guys want to support that. I'll continue doing these anti-guides until I finish every single Tekken 8 character. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.